a crowd support. Scott is made him go for foot. Gets the shots away, but not strong enough to be the goalkeeper. Another opportunity missed by Daniel Afriye Barnier. Has to go causing early problems for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Yeah, he came from the short corner kick, Muntari. They send the boy into the ball. Banya should be doing a lot better. Glass and Awaku finds Sule Muntari. Back to a only work done there by Dennis Corsa. Remember, this is this maiden super class. Played against Hatsabo and Kotoko last season when he was at the Busyan Dwarfs. Yet to taste again. Wants to find Muntari. But Lamte, lovely work, but was crossed. Ado gets it away now. It's Muntari. Awesome. Good play, Muntari. Wants to set up Barney, but it's a two on two. As Asante Kotoko have two men up against Azabok's two attackers. A lovely skill by Muntari. Straight away looking at what he wants to do. And that's what Azabok are doing. They're looking for the quick switch. Not trying to play too many passes in midfield because it's two guys trying his luck from that distance. And Fager goes down. But it's a fair challenge. Ado went for the ball and he got the ball legitimately. From Adesola, it was low, it was solid, he got everything on the ball. Fege looking for the referee to give some straight away. Once Muntari pick up the ball, he looks up and sees Banya in his pace and plays a long ball to him. Kotoko and Hassan Awaku swings one in, is headed away by Afuakwa. Fatal gets the header. Muntari! Silla Muntari nearly scored a spectacular for the Phobians. That was a chance. That was a big, big chance, and Kotoko couldn't clear the alliance. And Fatal's head, it's, it's, it's the ball is all over the place, and it's a big, big chance. Muntari left on Mank, so on his weaker side. Got ball through to Mudasiru, goes past Muntari. Now Lamte. Muntari trying to get to Awako, but it's intercepted by Ganyu and a Japan. Not really well, but not there. Good work again, like I said, Hatifuk have gone with a midfield diamond. But the quarter with a midfield three, and what that means now is Hatifuk have got numeric advantage in that midfield over Kotoko. And because Kotoko have pushed Imoro and the Japan high up the pitch, the two center backs are isolated, and that's why Bani now Wako can hear them at the moment. It's all hard to folk who are doing the right things. Now our guest today, Japan. Muntari's work crates have been impressive in the 20 minutes we've seen so far. Yeah. He's not been the most mobile in that midfield, but he's, he's picked some very decent positions and always made himself available. Now no foul. Now Corsa to Muntari. Muntari trying to pick out Obin Jr. But it's Ganyu. Those survivors from last season's Kotoko and Hearts game. In that game, there was Obuka, a foot can attend the games at the stadium. As Muntari is balling, but it's straight to Dalad Ibrahim. Awako for Muntari. Back to Awako. Now Nuruddin. It's Muntari. He loses possession. He wants the foul. He doesn't get it. But referee. Whistles and Muntari finally gets the decision this way. I'm not sure that's a foul, Muntari. He received from here. I think, I think he loses the ball. I think that was a good press from Mudasiru in the way he picked, picked the ball from him. And Muntari is furious about something, but I think that is a really soft foul for Hatsufuk and for Muntari. Again, there you see it. I think it's the handball. Yeah, it's the handball from a two that. that Is a foul free kick and then Montari is the culprit here. Yeah. yeah, clips with the series. It's a foul. First half in the first 30 minutes or so, Kotoko needs to sort that one out, otherwise, they keep putting pressure on those back two. And Japan goes down and low, he finds a two guard. The Cameroonian to the near post and his weak is feeble. They can't, yeah, expect thinking a two guard again, always on the move. And with Mutari closing down and narrowing down the angle, Adusoa lamped over around the ball on that occasion. There's a foul against Muntari. Did he get the ball or got the man? Yeah, I think we'll see it a lot better from here. Whether he got the ball or the man, he's stretching. 
eventually gets the ball back after he has pushed this man. So the referee sees the push, blows the whistle, but he'd be disappointed because they've created a better chances. Kotoko have had flashes. To take the free kick for Hats of Muntari swings one in and straight to Dalad Ibrahim. Now here is a Fakwa. Tens around Montari. Sharif. Bania up against Mubarak. Now here is a Japan. Obstructed by Montari. It's a yellow card for Sule Montari. Yeah, the right off the blocks. Are doing all the right things. They've upped the temper of the game and they are causing all sorts of problems for Hats of Folk. Again. <laughs> Mutari goes into the book and he's, he's the one who's stopping the Japan from going past it. The question Mutari will be asking is what he could have done to get out of the way because he just took this ground and the Japan ran into him. I'm not sure he's actually moving in the direction of the Japan to try and stop and block him. Mutari becomes the third half of a player to get a yellow card. Mutari might just be wondering. What isn't working right? For, what isn't working right for the Phobians? Finding it difficult to break this Kotoko team down. Yeah, I think man marking in that midfield where Kotoko off in the second half in the opening minutes had a lot of the ball. Sule Ali Muntari takes a bow. His first Asante Kotoko.